Hey, so Meta just released their Code Llama 70 billion parameter version. Um, this is super exciting because they claim it is about as good as GPT-4, 67.8 on the human eval versus 67. Uh, so they claim it's even a little bit better than OpenAI. Um, and using some of these cool new um, cloud hosted solutions, I can use a serverless API to hit it at pretty much see 90 cents per million tokens versus OpenAI, uh, one cent per thousand, which is about $10 per million. So about 10 or one, one tenth or one eleventh the cost probably of OpenAI. So it's a little bit better and 10% is expensive. That's super awesome. Um, so the problem before was probably that running a 70 billion parameter model was uh, pretty much prohibitive on any actual local device using GPUs. Um, the 7 billion, I showed a video the other day of how you can run some of those local models, um, but impossible here. Um, so today I'm going to walk through how to use Together AI, and there's a bunch of these services, Deep Infra, AnyScale. You know, you can evaluate for your needs, you know, based on expense or speed or reliability, whatever makes sense for you. But for me, I'm doing some local development work. I'm building a bunch of these agents. Uh, so I want something that's just kind of pretty fast and inexpensive. So for to me, or for me together is a, a pretty good solution. Um, so let me walk you through basically how to tackle this. So here on together, they've got a bunch of these models. So I could request any one of these, but today I want to do the new Code Llama 70 billion instruct model. So I'm interested in this path here. And then I'm going to grab my API key. And now I've set up two projects or two notebooks. I'll share these in GitHub if you want to play around with these on your own. Um, but normally I would be setting up just OpenAI and using that. If I want to use now together or any scale, I've set those up now in my uh, environments file here and I'll be referencing those. And so we're going to do here a really quick chain of it's just going to be a quick system template that says write some Python code, a human template that's our request and we're gonna combine those messages into the prompt and then just parse the output. Um, and so we'll combine both of those into our writing prompt runnable down here, which takes the prompt, the model that we're gonna specify here, which is the interesting part, the output parser. Um, so now the interesting thing, like I said, is just setting these models. So if you're just using OpenAI, uh, I'm using Langchain here, so this makes it really easy. I just specify the model that I'm interested in you know, a couple of other parameters if I want to pass those through. So since I'm developing, I'll try just a, a low temperature. Um, and this is what I would normally run. So if I do that and run everything here with a, I'll in, invoke this runnable now with a feature request, should be kind of a standard output that we would expect from OpenAI. Um, I can override that now. So as opposed to using OpenAI, maybe I want to use Code Llama, and specifically Code Llama hosted by Together. So now I'm going to set that up. So this is actually just going to use the same chat open AI class, but we're going to just override some of these parameters. Uh, so specifically, it's no longer going to be calling open AI's URL. It's going to be calling API Together. It's not passing in my open AI key anymore, but it's passing in the Together API key. And finally, I'm no longer restricted by the open AI models. I can now use this Code Llama 70 billion uh, parameter model. So this is how I can now just kind of do a little bit of override with the exact same Langchain class, call that, and now I'm going to be using Code Llama via Together, and exact same setup down here. So I just wanted to show what it would, uh, how it would be done with another one. So any scale, I just need to specify the API base, my API key, same thing. I'm using the exact same model up here as I do down below. And now I can call either one of these. So calling the same thing with together, um, that should work. And then finally, I'll show you what all the results look like in a second. Um, I can make that request. Uh, so I'll show you in a second what these requests look like. And then I'll come back and show you um, if I, I have a whole kind of agent that's running here that was built in LangGraph. Um, if I swap out one of those pieces, which is the uh, a tool that does development, um, I'll use the new Code Llama model there, and I'll, I'll show how that works now just in the agent as well. Um, so if I come to Langsmith, 
these are the three requests I believe we just made. So these were all made in the last minute. Um, this first one, it's got a system prompt, the human prompt, and the output that we expect. And I can see in the metadata that it uses the 3.5 turbo model. Uh, the next one up, in this request, I'm now using Code Llama. And you can see here from the API base uh, that I'm using together. Uh, so if we see the results, I've got system human template, and now this is a new response. And then finally, one more. This final request was through same model, but now we're using any scale. Uh, so that's how you can run the same request, you know, pass in whatever model you want. It's really easy with just their, you know, serverless API to use one of those models. It should be really inexpensive. And, you know, on performance, it looks like together is kind of edging out right now any scale. Um, and since they're cost the same, I'm probably going to be going with together for some of my local development. But I'll have to play with a couple others and see. But honestly, if it's, you know, that inexpensive and this fast. I don't know if it's worth my time to do too much evaluation. Um, and so finally, how do I actually use this in one of my kind of like production agents or something? Um, so I'm going to add, in addition to the OpenAI initialization, pass in my together API key. Um, and now when I'm specifying the tools, this is a tool that you know queries a vector database. It's still going to be using OpenAI embeddings. Um, this tool does some code writing. So in this runnable, I'm going to swap in a new model, and this is using the code llama 70 billion instruction or parameter model. And then when I initialize my agent, this is still going to use chat open AI, one of the GPT 3.5 turbo. Um, so if I run this entire sequence and I invoke the agent with a feature request, um, you know, first it'll hit the agent, which uses 3.5 turbo. It's going to do some querying with OpenAI embeddings. It's going to pass it over to the coder, who's going to use uh, Code Llama, and then it's going to pass it back to the agent in the end. The agent's going to do a little bit more analysis, know when it's done, and hand back to the user. And so it's going to pass between all of those models, and now I'm just kind of like swapping in some different endpoints to be able to do all of this. Um, so really cool. It should be being, doing it now as a fraction of the cost of GPT-4, which is what I was using previously, and we'll see how the quality is. Um, but if we check out this request, all right, we're bouncing between a few things. The first chat OpenAI is using 3.5 Turbo, and so that's my router, which knows to retrieve context. Um, we're going to now pass uh, the router again, now knows to write code. When we write this code, I pass in all of the context, the human prompt, and here is the output from Code Llama. Is you know hopefully a working chain here, and in the metadata we can see it's now using Code Llama Instruct. And it looks like just refresh it. Okay, um, goes back to the agent router, which uses 3.5 Turbo again, and finally the agent lets me know that we're all finished and that's using 3.5 turbo. So now it's using a nice mix of all these different, um, not only different APIs, but different models. Um, so you can kind of swap these out. I would suggest, you know, do your own evaluation. I'm not going to say together is definitely better. Um, there's a lot of providers out there that are gonna be popping up and they'll all have different values that they're, they're offering. Um, so depending if you're in local development versus production, you'll have very different needs. Um, I just wanted to show you today how easy it is to swap those in so you can use one of these huge models um, in your own development flow. Uh, so again, I'll post these um, notebooks so you can play around with them in GitHub repo. Uh, but hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. That's all. Thanks.